If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shot with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? But, you know... Just... take him, okay? Take Crane! Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Uh -huh. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the Queen. So she says, long live the Queen, which makes me think she's working for the Queen. We're gonna have Queen Red Hearts in here. Queen of Hearts. Hey guys, this is Sam. Welcome back to my little corner of the universe. Welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. We start episode 4 back in Bigby's apartment. Unfortunately, it's not sure of which is kind of what I was hoping, but you know, choose your battles. Okay. That's right, I was shot. Ooh. Huh? Oh, okay. Dream. Okay. All our point bullets are in oh. nasty business. Okay, good. Well, I mean, he's shirt, his shirt is off, but <laughs> it's kind of covered in blood, okay, which is not really my mm -hmm. thing. That is He'll be okay. That, his internal organs really are positively thing. riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. <sighs> Easy there. Try not to move. Oh god, can't that keep part. Heating this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? No, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. Mm. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, baby, oh, don't move. God, stop Doctor. moving the arm. I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Well, I guess we do that. Oh god, what's this, a Q? Oh god. Oh, oh. And W. Oh god. See, that didn't set it though. Oh, there's even more? Oh goodness, there's even more, guys. I'm sorry. And oh god, oh god, oh god, 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 well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. I can hear you guys. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate the headroom. We'll I'll be, be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Sometimes silence is okay. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. 
Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? Colin, shut I'm up. I'm here to take care of my friend. Colin, shut the hell up, will ya? <laughs> yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. Look all the silver out of me. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been... an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I can still hear you. I can you. still hear you. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Yeah, I'm gonna leave that up to her. Swiney. I'm gonna leave that up to her whether she wants to stay or not. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. <laughs> Hell, like shit. I've seen him take worse. Ah, as good as good. Not goods. much worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well, then. <laughs> I'll be fine, Snow. You had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. Snow, I've don't you be touching never my seen man. you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were, I don't know, it was just awful. And pretty hard to kill. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, they let it run out really to see what the she says. Man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <laughs> Colin. I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. Yeah, about that. It wasn't your fight to surrender. And what the hell does that mean? Oh shit. It means that I was the one getting shot to shit. So I'm the one that gets to raise the white flag. And only I when I want to raise didn't it. didn't expect Look, um, so that to happen. Could have done what? Gotten yourself killed? Let Crane get away anyway? It was the only option. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? That was the wrong choice. Oh, well. I thought he was just a lone shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? I don't know. How long has this stuff been going on? I don't know. I really don't know. From the looks of things, it's been going on for quite a while. Yeah, we just the stumbled upon man. something. 
declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. What do you mean broken? We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. <laughs> by the book. We'll see how long that lasts. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we can I all had no move other on. Choice. We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. I haven't really? killed. Well. well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why okay. tearing Dumb's throat out is necessary. that once. <sighs> You're right. No. Bigby doesn't owe me an explanation. I'm sure whatever happened, happened for a reason. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that, now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Monday does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. Look, we can think everyone about just stuff. calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm of course not. you are. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Shit. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? <laughs> Good old friend, right? Nerissa. <laughs> Nerissa. Nerissa. That okay. broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She probably just wants to talk about last night. The whole thing at the pudding and pie. Maybe. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. <laughs> and I should probably change out of these clothes. Probably. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when no. you're done with Nerissa. It's not over, Scott. It's not over at all. She's a piece of work. Hey. You're not really going to send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? I don't know. After everything we've fucking time. been through, Fuck. you don't have the nerve to give me a straight answer. Why do they always have to be against each other? That sucks.
No, oh, I thought we were. Right. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this because you guys have seen this a billion times. Um, and I'll see you around for the next episode or for the next chapter. <laughs> Bye.